Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna and today is Whip Weekend number 109. It is uh, May 24th, 2024. Friday, actually mid-morning. I um, got up a little late. I didn't get up till 7.30 today, so I didn't get uh, to have my shower before my husband woke up or anything like that. So uh, I've had a lazy, lazy morning. I've finished my second cup of coffee and um, ready to get my video done. So like I said, it is mid-morning. It's just after 10 o'clock in the morning and um, ready to make my video. Not much to show. Like I said uh, in previous uh, summer, I don't uh, get as much uh, crocheting done as I'm out in the garden, you know, putzing around out there and baseball takes up a lot of my time too. So uh us Canadians, we had a long weekend last weekend, and I know um, in the USA, it's your long weekend, so I, I want to wish everybody a wonderful long weekend in the States. So our long weekend was nice. The weather, we have gone from cold, cold, cold to like high 70s, so um, we went from heating straight to air conditioning, <coughs> excuse me. So the weekend, my husband and I, you know, we uh, did a bit of gardening. And I remember when I was younger, when we first moved in here 22 years ago, we'd get all the gardens done in one weekend and we'd be sore, but they'd be all done. Now it's one little garden per weekend. So I started in the front and I got most of that done and, you know, picked up all the leaves and twigs and everything from the winter. So we did that on the weekend and we had my stepdad over for uh, a barbecue. We made homemade uh, burgers on Sunday night and it was delicious and we had a great time. Um, the guys were outside uh, watching the uh, the golf. So we have a TV outside in our little gazebo. So it's nice that we're outside but they still get to uh, watch their golf. Uh, the barbecue was excellent and on Monday, didn't do much during the day, but I did have a baseball game Monday night and everyone came over here again. We hadn't had, we haven't started a, reg a regular uh, scheduled where everybody has uh, someone over. So, you know, some girls brought some little munchies and everything and we had a great time and stayed out there till probably 1130. So uh, my baseball team is so much fun. And what else happened this week? Um, so in the week, uh, Tuesday morning at 6.45, the phone rang and you know when it's that early, something's wrong. So Colin's mom, her blood pressure was up. She was feeling weak. So uh, rushed over to the home and they had already gotten an ambulance and they were bringing her to the, uh, oh, my kitty's around here somewhere. Hello, little girl. They uh, brought her to the hospital and after a few hours, her blood pressure went down and everything seemed okay. So we brought her back to uh, her place in the seniors home. But she had a little list for me. So I had to go out and do some shopping, you know, get her a few. Uh, all her meals are prepared there for her, but, you know, some cookies and some chips and little snacks. And she wanted some new socks. So I had to go find her new socks and very particular, very thin socks. So... Uh, my whole Tuesday, we were busy doing things. So that was Tuesday. And Wednesday, I woke up with another uh, bladder infection. So thank goodness my doctor saves um, some open appointments. I rushed, you know, I went in there at lunch and um, gave me my antibiotics. And it's pretty, I think it's my fault this time because um, I've been taking high amounts of cranberry pills and I had run out and I went ah a couple of weeks won't matter next time I go to Costco I'll get a nice big container well never got to Costco so uh, another so I'm on antibiotics I'm feeling fine no problems at all and so I went out I uh, had to do a little bit of banking uh, and um, so that day was gone <laughs> so um None of my usual, I love staying in. I, I am a homebody now. Ever since COVID, I've become a real uh, homebody and I love spending time in my house and I love doing my crafts. 
So that was what happened on Friday and then Thursday. Monday, I usually try and start cleaning the house, you know, vacuuming and dusting and washing the floors. Didn't get all that done. So I did it uh, yesterday. So my day, um, most of my day was spent and I don't do it all at once. Like I take breaks and I watch a few of my videos and I've been intrigued with the um, Daybell. Uh, trial so I've been watching a lot of videos on that and I've actually been watching the trial and it's nothing like you see on TV like it moves fast quick 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 in TV things but it's oh a sidebar here and it just goes on and on and sometimes it's so boring that I just fast forward through because I'll watch it after it's happened but uh, I'm so intriguing and so so sad that you know two children and two spouses were murdered it's um I'm intrigued with it I just can't believe how people can ch take regular religion and then just go off on their own and do some bizarre bizarre things so I've been watching that and I have to catch up on my uh, crocheting videos. Uh, haven't uh, been keeping up with them. So I think uh, I'm going to start uh, watching that because the trial's off for four days. So I'll be able to get caught up on all my videos that I've missed this week. And today, like I said, I started lazy, just uh, enjoying my morning and my coffees and doing a little bit of knitting this morning on my socks and then make my video and by the time I get this edited and everything it'll be mid-afternoon and um, while it's uploading to YouTube I will go do my grocery shopping because we're running out of food here. So that was my week very busy and um, things that had to be done but I just like my nice calm quiet weeks. You know my poor husband all he wanted was a, a normal week because he's traveled all month. He was away for most of it and um, it started off hectic and chaotic. But uh, that's life. So let's get uh, started with my whips today. Um, let's see, what have I got? So we can start with my socks here. So I'm trying to get these done. My uh, son-in-law's birthday is coming up faster than I thought, so I'll be working on this quite a bit. So I got through the heel. I think I had the heel done. And then I think this is the gusset part where you do your decreases. And then now I've decreased to the number I need. And it's just um, straight knitting in the round till I get to the toe. And I'm hoping to get this done this weekend. We'll see what happens. Paige will be here on Saturday. We do have a baseball game on Saturday at 9 a.m. and then Amanda being a captain, my daughter, uh, she has to stay till after three because they're rating some new women. If someone gets hurt, then we'll have women to come in and step in in their, those places. So I'm not uh, sure if Paige is gonna stay with her mom at the ballpark for the whole day or if she's gonna come here. So one way or another, uh, we'll see what happens there. So I'm gonna hopefully get this. So that's there and I think I think it's like I need 10 inches for my uh, son-in-law's foot. So I'm hoping to get this done this weekend. We'll see. So that's my socks that I've been working on. I have done a little bit on my diamond painting. I'm not in love with this diamond painting, and I think that's why it's taken me so long to do. So I have uh, started on the blues at the top. So I'm going to say I'm three quarters of the way done on this. It, the, the sparkle is beautiful, but it's not the normal type of, you know, flowers or country uh, that I do. So I'm not loving it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it when I'm done, but uh, I am doing it. And then I've been working on my paint by numbers and I am loving this and I don't want to stop. And um, I've done quite a bit this week on it. So this is it here. And um, all this white is going to be black. So I have to paint the blacks. And, you know, it's got black lines in here. But I think this is turning out beautiful. And I just love the way it's coming out. And I got these on uh, Amazon. And I believe they were only uh, $9.99 Canadian or $13.99. And that's a great value for Amazon. It's free delivering and I get it the next day. So I've been uh, working on that one. And the other one, I can't wait to start. But I'm going to try and slow down. <coughs> Excuse me one moment. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, 
It uh, has been awful here, the uh, pollen in the air. You can see the green pollen flying through the air. So, like, I know we're a little later than some of the places in the U.S., but the pollen is so bad, and I am just totally full. And uh, I guess uh, hopefully it will dissipate with the big rain that's supposed to come tonight, and um, the pollen will disappear. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So um, I was working on that. Uh, my socks, my diamond painting, uh, paint by numbers. And I have done a lot on my mom's memory blanket. And um, I am doing solid granny squares, three rounds. And I'm using a fingering weight and a 3.25 millimeter hook. So I got all these white ones, or cream colored ones, done. And I did quite a bit. I've been doing this in the evenings. It doesn't look like a lot, but um, with the fingering weight, it is uh, quite a bit. And I did 20 of the colors, and the colors are just spectacular. I've been, uh, I got a whole bunch of minis from Aberdeen Wool. And then I got some yarns from the UK, and I can't remember her uh, name right now, but I will put it up here, and they were just beautiful. Like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the sparkle, but I did get a, uh, a whole bunch of the sparkly ones, and they do have a beautiful sparkle, and it's not showing up at all, the sparkle, but I'm getting through those. So um, I have a lot to sew in, and I think it's going to take me longer to sew them in than it is to make the little squares, but I'm really enjoying doing this because I'm doing it in memory of my mom. Uh, if you uh, are new to the channel, my mom passed away in November, on November 19th, and she was in the hospital on and off for the whole, all of last year. And um, every time I'd go in there and talk to her when she'd fall asleep, I would start making little squares. So uh, that's how my blanket started off. But I bought more because I don't think I want it to end. So I don't know how big this blanket's going to be. I said probably 45 by 60, but now I'm thinking it's going to be 60 by 70 something. We'll see. I'm just really enjoying the process of making all the little squares. And um, it is a wool blanket. It's it's a very thin square, but I think it'll be perfect if I want to go take a nap or just cover myself up during the day. I'm cold. So that's what I did. And we've had a lot of baseball games. The Blue Jays are starting to pick it up a bit. So I've been making my squares and I've been very good. I have been sewing in all my ends because I couldn't imagine doing all this at once. It would take days. So that's what I've been doing mostly in my evenings. I've been working on my book cover inspiration and I'm on the border. Or I've started the border. Not sure exactly how I'm going to do it, but uh, I've done the first round in navy blue. And um, talking about book cover, if uh, you can get your pictures in of your projects that you were making sometime next week, because um, I believe next week is the beginning of the month. Let me just check. I have a, a day timer down here. Yes, yeah, Saturday is the 1st, so I'll probably be putting this video out on the 31st, which is the Friday. So if you could get your pictures in by Thursday the 30th, that would be perfect. So uh, just a little reminder on that. And um, I'm loving the way uh, it's turning out. I've joined it all now, and like I said, I'm uh, just starting the border, and I'll have to get that done this week. So uh, I worked on the squares and my crochet top. I forgot about that. I have done a little bit. Um, last time I had told you that I finished the back panel. And now I have started on the front right here. So I've just got a few more rows to put up. I've uh, broken it off to make the V for the neck. And I'm hoping it's going to fit. I it's I wanted very little uh, ease, so I'm trying to make it a negative ease, but I think I might have made it a little bit too big, but it's 100% cotton, so I may shrink it a little bit. So uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough blue, and I think I will, but I think I'm going to put some black stripes in the, the bottom to make it like a ribbing. 
So that's what I've been working on and I am using, let me get, I believe it's a discontinued yarn. It's called America's Best 100% Cotton Cabled. So it is a um, cabled, it is a, uh, ooh, what's it called? It's it's a little bit airy, but it is a heavy yarn. But I thought in the wind, not in the winter, in um, summer nights when it's cool, this would be perfect to wear with your jeans. Because I don't like anything up near my neck or anything. So that's why I'm trying to put the V in. I don't know if it's going to work out. Um, I'm just going to do the one side and... Hopefully it works out to uh, where I need it. And I think it's going to be okay if I put another uh, few up there. Uh, the back panel, I didn't tie it off because if I needed a few extra rounds or rows, I would put those in and then work on the, uh, the bottom part of it when I figure out if the Vs are going to work. So I've been working on that and I got quite a bit done on the second panel. And... Um, I will have enough of the blue, but I think I'm going to put the black stripe in it, maybe two or three black stripes. Just I like my um, tops to end under my belly, like just where the hip joint is, not too long, but not too short. So I just want to hide that, the belly part. So those are, let me put this hook back in the bag or so I will forget it and go, oh no, what size? So those are the whips I've been working on. I have no crochet completed. Oh, I do. I have my square completed from my, uh, I've been making squares every week from Manic Mama Musings uh, Album 101 Theory. And um, I'll put the album up here. And I just love how the square turned out. And it is in my uh, thumbnail to start. But, and the colors are turning out perfect, and I can't believe it because the sun is shining. But uh, that's it there, and I love the way this turned out. I would have never put pink, purple, and browns. And this is showing up white, but it is a creamy white color. And I just love the way these colors work together. And um, I may use these colors in another project. So I did get that done. Uh my last last week, I did get the bird mail done, and the week before, I got uh, the movie Marquee. I will list everybody's um, channels down below, so you can go check them out for yourselves. So I got that done, and I can't remember if I showed you this. I don't think I did, and I was going to go through and, and check, but it is my pencil case that I was working on with Paige, and I got both sides completed. I wasn't sure if I... Uh, show this or not and it's a pencil case but I'm going to use it as a notions pouch and I just love the way it uh, turned out I just love diamond painting I think it's beautiful and it's got specialty diamonds in there if you can see like the bigger diamonds and everything and Paige likes to put the big diamonds in but she likes her Nanda to put the smaller ones in so um, if she comes here tomorrow, she can put her big diamonds in and then I'll finish it off for her. So that is my notions pouch that I will be using if I am traveling. And we haven't traveled this year at all because of my mother and Colin's mother and everything. And we were hoping to travel in April, but that didn't happen. So this is driving me nuts. All my hair is like tickling my face. It's driving me crazy. I have to call my girlfriend. She's a hairdresser and I'll have her uh, see if she can squeeze me in somewhere because my hair is driving me crazy. I kept it. So if we went down south or something and I was on the beach, I could just put it in a ponytail. But it drives me crazy this length. So I'm hoping to get it chopped up off again. So hopefully next time you see me, my hair will be uh, much, much shorter. But um, I like that I can pin it back. But this is driving me crazy. I'm trying to keep it nice. It, uh, I go grocery shopping, I come back and it's all flat and stuck to my head. I have very, very fine, fine hair and not a lot of it. I'm going a little bald back here. So like this actually covers a bit of it, which is nice, but uh, I just can't stand it on my face and on my neck. It just irritates me. So uh, hopefully I'll get my hair cut uh, soon. So is that all that I finished? I finished my uh, other paint by number. That's right. 
So I did finish the uh, flowers in uh, the wooden box and I just love it. And um, all these paintings I got on Amazon for, I think, a reasonable price. And if you're not um, crazy like me and spend hours in the morning, this will last you months to do. So, you know, I'm up this morning. I woke up at 430 and I went, no way. So I uh, did force myself back to sleep this morning and didn't get up till 7.30. So that was great. But uh, if, uh, you know, you only have a half hour, uh, it, I think it's great value for your money. So that's it for my whips and my finished items. I will be playing ball tomorrow morning when I, this is released. And um, we did win last week. And... Um, I was shocked. Uh, this old gal got the the hat, and there it, every week uh, they pick the captains pick the player of the game. And I did have fun at first base. I had a lot of plays, a lot of stretching. Couldn't move for two days after it, but um, I got the player of the week. And it's uh, if I can get the picture from my daughter, I will put it up here and show you. But uh, but I'll have to pay attention uh, this game and figure out who I want to give it to for the game on Saturday. So I'm looking forward to my baseball game and seeing Paige and my daughter. My daughter and I uh, talk every day and we FaceTime every day, but it's always nice to be in person. So I hope. Everyone has a wonderful long weekend in the U.S. And we all have a great weekend. Get your whips done. Get your projects uh, done. Relax. Enjoy family and friends. And I know a lot of people love to barbecue or grill. My kitty cat wants my attention. She's uh, meowing underneath here. Uh, but uh, have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.